whole lot of people keep messaging me and asking me for an update on the Toyota. Well, it's time for me to do that update. I'm going to show you what I've got done, the things I'm still working on. But just remember, when you see all these things, just know I went the cheapest possible route. Okay, I did not spend a lot of money on this thing. Let's get into it. And I guess the best place to start would be the front. So, massive power for steering fluid leak. Uh, I got the new reservoir ordered. That's all that's cracked. Good to go. Lines, I'm going to replace those. Let's move right up to the bumper. Winch bumper, uh, I checked it out, made sure the wheels were good. We're going to paint this thing black and get a new winch on it sometime this weekend. Let's move to the inside of the truck. Before I show you all my DIY rust hole patches, uh, just know I did say cheap. <laughs> really cheap. So, the floorboards of these Toyotas... Are plastic all this right here plastic it doesn't come off it's glued down to the frame whatnot or a cab i mean uh but drywall patches right here you take a lighter i melted them into the plastic and pushed it down put a coat of rhino liner over the top of it and i gotta put a second coat over it soon so it covers up the mesh a little bit better but there was a massive hole right here and it is fixed because i patched it on both sides right on lined a shit ton of it and it really turned out a lot better than you would ever imagine but uh, I do got a little bit of water in here, so I know the rhino line is working in some spots. I left the window open last night. But I got it about rhino line. There was a huge hole out there that I have patched too. So it's not great, but it's way better than it was before. And it was cheap. And one more thing while we're inside. I did do a seat belt delete. Not because I wanted to, but because they were dry rotted. And every time you pulled on them, they just broke off. So apparently whatever happened to them between 1982 and now has caused them to be completely and totally useless i was going to put some more seat belts in here some even some harnesses just for looks then i realized how much they were and said well i'm not going to drive this thing on the street anyway it's just a mud toy so we are no seat belt balling in the yoda from this point forward out of the cab moving on giant rust spot tried to paint match it didn't work because mine's so faded originally decided that just regular rust looks way cooler and why would i spend that much more money on paint anyway uh to the bed of the truck which is my best thing so far uh got the gas tank back here got it bolted down piece of plate metal bolted down over a rubber stall mat for horses or livestock whatever you want to call it in the back that covers up all the old rust that I cut out. You'll be able to see that on Instagram if you follow me there. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there is a lot of new sheet metal in this thing because I resheet metaled a lot of the bed because it was literally nothing but rust. And I know a lot of people just seen the roll bar on top with all the old KC lights. I do have new KC lights to go up top. I'm gonna put four facing forward, one small two inch facing into the bed in the rear because I like to be able to see behind me too because obviously the tail lights back here they do still work but i mean it's like holding a lighter and it's it's not very much light either way though new kc lights are going on hopefully this weekend uh if i get time to do everything i uh, still got the acdc skyjacker sticker here uh, a lot more rust a lot more rust but that's pretty much the only things that i've done to the vehicle so far other than that's <laughs> I say it was a small amount of stuff that I've done, but it took me like four solid days to do a lot of this because I had to let the rhino liner dry. I had to figure out what I was going to patch the holes with. And the sheet metal in the bed kind of whooped me there for a second, but it's coming along. So there's your update for you. I should have another one in another two weeks or so.